All right. <clears throat> I'm pressing the button that starts the game then. Nice. We're forming connections. I think in this, you should have to do some small talk to like really form a connection. <laughs> I uh I'm I'm awful at that. It's been so long since I've actually uh um done Empire War skirmish. Uh like get, like for videos, so I don't even know I've forgotten all of my training essentially. For like uh, the intros? For for like for like skirmish stuff, yeah, like actually being off script. I've been on script for so long now. Hmm. Um, but it's no different than if you were streaming, though, really. Yeah, you're right. I'm just making excuses. I'm not, I'm <laughs> um, I, I, okay, so, Charlie, we're here with the new build of Father of Public that everyone at home can be playing themselves right now. But we're going to explain some of what went on with these changes, where mm. uh, you'll see that uh, your dedicated anti-fighter ships... And your fighters all build in the, uh, I guess, the blue upgrade. Usually it's the upgrade menu, but now it's just blue. Um, yeah. And, and, and that's the, uh, that's, that's, that's in Thrones Revenge as well, isn't it? Uh, that is coming to Thrones Revenge. We started implementing it. It's one of the reasons that the CIS and Republic were unbalanced against each other previously, because it was something that we'd started doing. And I think the CIS had it, uh, but the Republic didn't. So now it's properly implemented. Uh, but these are a bunch of changes that Lone Ranger has been working on uh, for a while, along with some other people on the team. But uh, Skirmish should feel a lot a lot better now, and we'll see if I just win. But don't tech up right away, because it takes a lot more of an investment to tech up now. And once you've finished building a mine, you'll see that the mines have... Uh, have shields, so they're a bit harder to raid with like a single squadron of fighters that just takes it down. Yeah, and I, I also notice uh, uh, the middle one doesn't have shields because it's in the nebula. It's in the nebula. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think is a good. I think it's a good. Um, yeah, it's, game paid tweak. It works because you've got uh, the mines on the side give you a bit less overall map control, but the same amount mm. of money. And uh, there's a bit higher risk for just rushing the middle compared to other areas. Yeah, oh, I, I definitely agree. I'm, I'm just trying to get used to the other side of the map. I'm not. I'm never used to playing on this side. I'm just uh, also seeing what. Uh, oh, you've caught me. Shit. Okay. Well, fuck. <laughs> I, I always place a fighter there, prepping for a bombing run, but. Hmm. With the shielding on on um, on asteroids, I think it's going to cost a lot more to. Yeah, uh, you have to be a bit that. more dedicated to assaults on mines now, uh, yeah, because of that, and because like at a certain skill level, it got to a point where like it was just raiding mines and it was impossible to build up any economy and there was no real risk to raiding a mine. You just go in, send in a ship, you'd kill the thing immediately. And like, yeah, great. That is a good thing to do, but it didn't require any effort or investment to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it used to be they never had the uh, reinforcement prevention radius, which they now do, or which they've had for a while. But that wasn't quite enough to get all the effects we were going for there. But now it works out a little bit better. So, uh, I, I mean, like, I'm assuming that'd still be effective, like it. Uh, say if this, you know, the, the, the change comes to Thorns Revenge, because that's my only frame of reference for, like, bom bombing runs right now. Um, I'm assuming, like, if, if you're a New Republic, you probably need to, what, bring in at least, um, maybe five B-Wings, or even maybe six, which really ups the cost and risk of pushing yeah, it that far. like, that along with, uh, Heavy Frigate would probably be safest, but you, you can definitely still do it with bombers, it's just... You need a bit more investment than I'm sending one squadron off to this corner of the map and now you've got yeah. no economy. And if you're better players, then uh, sending one squadron off and then no one's got any economy. So it's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's uh, It works out... Just There's more rewards for having more map control. Uh, and there's actually five tiers of upgrades to the income now and they're tech-gated. So, uh, mm -hmm. there is an incentive to kind of tech up a bit more, 
but yeah there's the risk along with it although being able to build some dedicated anti-fighter and some fighters and bombers uh while you're teching up does mean that even if it's harder to get more map control you do have a way to kind of try to hold on to what you have if there's a dedicated uh assault going on mm -hmm. um I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a go just to see a, in a point of reference of how well it does. The uh, vulture assault but, on the mine, or are you sending something else in? Uh, I hope I got the right one. <laughs> um, okay, there you go. Yeah. Oh, you already got a st space station. Constructing unit. Oh wow! Yeah, that takes is way more. Is, is it? Has it got more shields than hull? Uh, the uh, they're asteroids? pretty. I don't know what the exact numbers are on it, but it's uh, they're pretty beefy now. Yeah. But even with one hard sell yeah. and a couple of bombers, you're still getting some decent damage in if you get that captor in or auxiliary. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That that is definitely not a drive-by bo bombing yeah. run at all. Like that's that's, which I, I think works because uh, it's, it was very frustrating to play against, but. One thing I've noticed as well is that like I've become a lot more reserved on making specific statements about like skirmish gameplay because mm -hmm. for one I was very um, I was very like oh fighters are really hard to break up and 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 uh, manage on the enemy team until literally like I played one game with uh, with uh, Mark Mark and he just he just uh, spammed interceptors and lancers and oh well yeah it does work I just didn't test how many I needed. To really, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, because I never spammed interceptors until like I actually found a worth for them that Mark showed me. So I try mm -hmm. to be a bit more reserved in that in that sense. Um, for sure. Oh, I like how we and we do plan to yeah. have uh, other mechanical changes coming to skirmish in the future. Uh, this mm. is kind of like the first balancing pass. So we'd like to do a bit more with how research works, how we're getting heroes and stuff work but uh yeah giving more incentives for different map control but as it is right now uh we're a lot happier with the status of balance with this patch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and I'm, I'm confident that 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 is the case for this patch especially when like uh the most recent thrawn's revenge patch i think a lot of those a lot of the uh factions in, in that game are, are really well balanced like i really uh i really enjoy how well uh uh empire and new republic play yeah i think they are stellar uh, uh, examples of balance yeah like the the ships in both mods haven't really changed with the balancing patches to skirmish here it was more about when different ships become available to different factions making sure that they have like some unique stuff and some unique ways to play but also are able to compete with each other. Where like the Empire of the Hand used to be really OP, CSA was really bad. Uh, mm. It's it's going to be a bit harder to balance Ron's Revenge than Fall of the Republic, obviously because of yeah. the number of factions. But it's more about setting up kind of the basic economic systems and making sure uh, all the factions are kind of viable against each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the focus will be on getting the Republic, New Republic, and Empire kind of settled first, and then moving on from there. Uh, but there were a bunch of reworks that were done to space combat in January, and like we set up the economic change and everything for the galactic level, but because we were working on tighter patch schedules, we didn't really have the time or resources to focus on skirmish yet, so Ranger came on, mm -hmm. and uh, he's been focusing a lot on that, so that's been uh, really helpful for being able to move a lot faster on that than we'd been originally anticipating, uh, and keeping that kind of maintained. So now Skirmish and, uh, is kind of caught up with those galactic changes that we've made already. Yeah, yeah. And I think one thing that I, you mentioned a bit earlier to come back, I think the uh, the inclusion of moving um, anti-fighters to the second bar is definitely going to uh, force players to be a bit more careful with how many fighters they're going to keep spamming. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's definitely a, a really good change. I'm looking forward to, to what how that goes down. Yeah, um, we have uh, right now an issue is just uh, how spammable they can be, like Gozontes especially, uh, not for power, just for lag. Uh, so we'll probably <laughs> implement some kind of limits on the top end for those kind of things. But Father Republic is also getting a pop cap change down from 300 to 200. Uh, 
So that's not coming to TR, that's just Fall of the Republic, which is yeah, also a yeah. primarily lag-based thing. And because we feel like the tactical gameplay between ships is good as it is, uh, it's just mm -hmm. when there's so many, it's difficult to really get that going the way it should. So yeah, by yeah. kind of reducing that, we're I, uh, hoping to achieve those goals. I've been taking up and I have really felt the punishment of it. Yeah, um, you've got to time it properly, but at least you can like still build some stuff to challenge in areas. Like You need to make sure you're in a good position, position on the map. Uh, mm. But you can oh, still bad. try to drop in some stuff. Such a bad placement from me. Oh my god. Um, the only other the other question I I, I had was um, was uh, Arkansans. Did, did you did, are Arkansans more on level with Thrawn's Revenge versions now? The um, stats for those have always been the same. Uh, or have they always been the same? It's yeah. Just, available ships on that first tech level i'm assuming yeah like the anarchotens in tr is the exact same as anarchotens in fall of the republic uh mm -hmm. unless, i'm pretty sure like there might be different variants i don't think they are uh no. but like in context like clone war ships are going to be weaker so proportionally they're better uh but this mm -hmm. skirmish patch didn't have any balancing changes to any ships it was just about the availability uh cost yeah. that kind of thing uh, so it's more about the yep. skirmish system specifically rather than the, the ships. There is something that the... Uh, there's a new ship the CIS are getting in 1.0 called the Munifex, which was actually really helpful for them in skirmish, uh, which obviously is not in 0 0.6. Uh, so that's why you'll notice you have access to the Marauder, which kind of fills that same mm -hmm. role and is actually pretty damn useful in early game skirmish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a lot to digest here as well, because there's not only uh, not only the obviously the changes to the asteroids, but um, it's a lot. It costs a lot more, and I, maybe it takes a bit longer. Maybe it's placebo placebo effect, but uh, for upgrading the asteroids too. Is, yeah, the uh, uh, the upgrade tech does take a little bit longer to to do. Yeah. I, uh, so that that'll be a that, that's definitely interesting uh, to to see how that will play out and and, and change uh, ways to play. Yes, sir. Um. Right, and also I'm seeing a lot of new ships as well for uh for the uh, Confederacy. Uh, uh there's the Marauder, good. but I don't think there's uh, uh a Rex and class dreadnought in the uh. In the tech level three, the erection class dreadnought. No, sorry. Uh, the uh, oh, the, the recusant. Yeah. Re oh, uh, uh, recusant. Right. Yeah. The uh, yeah. Some of those ships that were only in GC previously, I believe, have been kind of slotted in inappropriate places. Right. Oh, is that is that not intentional? Is it? No, they they are. It is. It's just uh, I wasn't sure what you talked about for the because oh, they were they were in the mod before. <laughs> it's just as someone who only plays skirmish, you'd have less experience yeah. with those being around. Oh, whoa, and there's an increased supplies level 3. I did not yeah, know that. Yeah, it goes up to level 5 now. Really? So oh, the, it's smoothed okay. out a little The income curves are smoothed out a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very in interested to see, uh, because another map I've been playing a bit more of is the, the, the Void. So yeah. I'm super interested to see uh, how that level of uh, of income speed will be with on the on a, uh, level five. Is that the one that has like a shit ton of mines? Yeah, have, yeah. It, there's a lot of map work that will be coming uh, in the next few releases. Like this was basically just applying the new systems on yeah, top of yeah. what's there because uh, we didn't want to break any other save stuff. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, there will be another pass on existing maps to decide which one should stay around and also adding some new ones. Uh, that conform a bit more to uh, competitive health. Yeah, I uh, I do like the void actually. It's very good for getting very quick games out of the way. Hmm. Um, while the Travis Madness can be very down to the boat, uh, down to the very last moment sort of thing. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so, uh, so I, I welcome the increased supplies. Uh, so it doesn't feel like just a necessary early game thing that you do in the first two minutes and it's done. Right. Uh, and, and then losing your asteroids obviously would be a much, much bigger risk by losing all of them now, which yeah. makes sense for the shields on the asteroids. Okay. Um, if I'm getting any anything wrong here, just just let me know. Um, oh, that all makes sense. Yeah, that, that's definitely a really, really interesting change. Uh, are these changes coming to Thrawn's Revenge? Uh, well? Yeah, similar, uh, similar changes are. Uh, so all the systematic changes would be the same, but ship availability will obviously vary by faction. Uh, and again, it'll take a little bit longer to get them sorted out uh, with so many factions. So it's very likely that we'd have a focus on uh, the Empire and New Republic first, and then on like the Empire of the Hand, uh, CSA after that. Because mm -hmm. when you're only balancing two factions against each other and themselves, that's a lot easier than when you have like eight. To worry about <laughs> yeah exactly especially when there's more unique factions coming that'll be like the hapens or chiss or whatever because at least a lot of them are like imperial right now so they kind of match up against each other but mm -hmm. so recusants uh recusants and recusant dreadnoughts are heavy hitters but they're not especially tanky uh, yeah i had them in the back there but uh, i you, you convinced me to bring them up <laughs> um, uh, so that one's taken a bit of a beating for it uh, I've always uh, assumed that recusants were like more of a sniper long range yeah. and then have something a bit more bulky in the front line yeah for sure um, it, it, it's, it's weird because like when I, the last time I played Fall of the Republic my meta would be to uh, pick Galactic Republic and super spam um, Arcsons, um until I got the a chance to uh, attack up. Uh, so, uh, but when I played a lot more of Thorns Revenge, I learned a lot. Like, uh, like on another level of learning of like specific ships, uh, positioning, uh, fighter control, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So. I have to take that understanding and bring it over to the Fall of Republic, um, uh, uh, as well as understand the new changes that have come in as well. So uh, I feel like I've got a lot to, uh, to process and actually get good at, essentially. So with X saying, oh, well, I'm not good at skirmish, I'll get smashed. Now's probably a perfect time to come <laughs> back in because I'm probably at the same level as him at this point. Yeah, like a lot of the same principles for like uh ta ship tactics are gonna be there it's just the uh the cost benefit of each kind of thing and like some of the stuff that made architects as good as they were uh in context other than just like being good statted ships with uh a low price is mm. like they were good at just taking out a mine on their own uh because you could just go destroy a mine and then it kind of does everything, but now you need more of that investment if you want to do that with them, uh, or mm -hmm. with anything else. And like the Munifax is kind of the uh, CIS's answer to the Argotens, which is why they have the Marauder right now, uh, which is because it's kind of it's kind of in the same vein. Yeah, I've not I've not really used enough of the the, the Marauder Cruiser. Uh, that's one thing I've ended up neglecting and ended up focusing a lot on hard sell spam. Just mm -hmm. purely because of the, uh, the the fighter it spawns alongside it, so yeah, Marauders uh, do that as well. Uh, like the Marauders mm -hmm. weren't available to the CIS before. Uh, ah, okay. They're they're kind of similar to the hard sell in some ways, but uh, more, more turbo durable. laser rather than ah. physical munitions, which is what the hard sell yeah. is for. Uh, but I'll host up another one gotcha. and. Did you want to do the same map, or did you want to uh, jump over to? Some... We can do a different one. Do you want? Is there one you want to do? Uh, uh, can I? Uh, can I? Uh, let's do a, a new map, and then afterwards, uh, am I allowed to swap positions with you on? Um, on uh, Travis. Uh, a tra yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do team one for this one then, and I can on void as well? 
Uh, sorry, say that again, sorry? Do you want to play uh, Team 1 on the Void as well? No, 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 no. I'll let you. No, I'll, I'll, I really I'll, don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, no, no, it'll be... It'll be uh, do, well, wait, can you swap positions from being Team 1, Team 2? Yeah. Oh, you just okay, set your yeah, number. Yeah, exactly. Oh, perfect. That's yeah, all yeah. that can is. I, can I be Team 1 then? Sure. Sorry, yeah. I thought I thought it was because I had to make the map room or something like that. Some something dumb. Right. Like that. Can you change your color to red? There we go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I've got to have accurate <laughs> faction colors for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just while we're showing off the fact. Otherwise people get confused, you know. Yeah, no, I I get you. Um all right. Vehicle Now, one one faction I love to play on this uh on this faction. Uh, 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 the, uh, one faction I like to play on this map, sorry, uh, is the Confederate. No, 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 the Pentastar alignment. Um, purely because their fighters can just light speed across the map. Mm. Uh, well, they're interceptors, that is. So you're able to uh, outbeat um, a lot of the your opponents in terms of speed. Marauder cruiser here. Location confirmed. Acknowledged. Let's also build. Orders, sir. A few of those. Hmm. I noticed you, you used a lot of um, Kelta class as well, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, indulge myself in a few of those in, in my fleet. Yeah, for the early game, like little frigate versus little frigate fights, because of their healing, uh, yeah, they can kind of do a good job of influencing that and you also get to hear x voice acting so like how can you go wrong <laughs> exactly it's amazing Beginning construction. Who, who was who was the person that teared up listening to his voice acting Eck. <laughs> oh is it him <laughs> yeah, obviously command computer active um so i've never really played the void map right on fall of republic I've kind of like had a, uh, a second wave of like interesting ways uh, to play skirmish yeah. recently through playing with fans. And I haven't translated it over to, to Fall of Republic yet. Mm -hmm. um, I've been off of my own community matches because I used to do them almost weekly as well. Uh, but mm -hmm. after the space reworks, because we didn't update skirmish, I just kind of stayed off of them until we could get the updates in. So mm -hmm. those will be coming back for me as well, or maybe I can join some X2 playing with fans. Yeah, I was actually going to cross channel ones. I was actually going to uh, ask it, to do it today, but then we ended up um, doing a upgrade in uh, progress. Four guys mm -hmm. for playing with fans, but I, I would really like to do that at some point because we haven't played a skirmish together in a very long time. That is correct. So. Oh wait, you can bypass. Shields on on a uh, asteroids? No, I was killing that while you were building it. Oh right, gotcha. Ah, interesting. Because the shields don't come up until the. Uh... Yes, yes, I get you now. Very, very curious indeed. Um... Wow, everything's so cheap now. Oh no, I forgot to upgrade my stores. That's gonna be that's really gonna hurt now. Marauder cruiser here. Moving out. Construction complete. Lots of frigate reporting. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Constructing unit. All right, pretty darn epic. Building started. Oh, I need to pull him back. So it feels like um a lot of the a lot of the uh, uh changes also kind of like slows down the rushed early game where people like it's either you execute your early game correctly or you lose. Yeah, like so, the early uh, game is still, if you do it correctly, you're still going to have a pretty big advantage, uh, mm. obviously. But it's not like, instead of being 95% of the game, it's some smaller number that isn't that number. 
Yeah, but still, like, still pretty major and can still set you up for winning or losing. But, like, a good player can still find opportunities to kind of claw it back. Because uh, usually if you do take those mines out, like, in the past you were denying some area, but you weren't really mm -hmm. uh, able to hold them. Whereas now you're committing enough force, usually if you're taking them out effectively, that you are able to mm -hmm. get some sort of foothold. Uh Oh, uh, the Void only has uh, one increased supplies. It's tech level based. Tech what? Really? Yeah, so it unlocks so more as you tech up. That is such a good change. So if you try to like rush level one stuff, which used to be a lot more viable, and you could just crush with that, if someone does manage to tech up, they are going to be in over the long term getting into a better position economically yes because it is exactly. a big investment to get to those levels yeah yeah absolutely that's such a good change oh man it's gonna be that is gonna mean so much different play styles like everything has actually changed let's go i need to stop I, I, I'm, blowing up my stuff i don't like it I'm in a tough position. See, like, I yeah. I at least would have had the opportunity if I'd uh, wanted to invest in it of going down and trying to fight you off on that mine. Like, you were still able to get it with a relatively small force, but it took longer. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would have had a chance to respond had I so chose. Yeah. That, that's the thing. That's the thing with the void. You're, you're having so many fights in so many places mm -hmm. at once with this map. Uh, and I, I've played a lot of the of the void in Thrawn's Revenge, and it's notoriously fast. You know, like uh, uh, I've it's, it's either you've won in the first couple of minutes, or I've been really miserable and like like <laughs> lost the first couple of asteroids in the like two minutes, and then that's it, game over. You know. <laughs> so um. Yeah, this this definitely takes a little while, but um, but that's a good thing. That's a definitely a good thing. Got a lot of uh, ready for orders. Activating weapons. Yes, Commander. Why we? Okay. Vehicle in production. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, those Marauder cruisers are, uh, they do pack a punch, don't they? Yeah, they're they're not, I don't think they're quite as good as the uh, Arquitans. Like, they're definitely yeah. worse, but they're also not costing me as much, so. Because they do kind of fit more into the CIS as, uh, like, spamming worse ships. Mm-hmm. Navigating to I should have known. Copy. All right, now I can upgrade. Uh, oh wow, yeah, you've uh, certainly upgraded. Oh shit. Cruiser reporting. Navigating to coordinates. Let that fucker get away. Oh. Uh, yeah, you got him. I've got him on a tight uh, turn there. Um, that's a tech level two. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. I keep getting scared. Wait, you on tech level three? No. Okay. Yeah, or, or the Omni class, or, or Omni is is tech two. That would make yep. Sense. Yeah. Like the CIS doesn't have access to a level one healer like the Pelta is, uh, so they yeah. unless you like just go for straight out numbering, the CIS isn't going to be. Uh, isn't going to have that advantage in the early fights. Mm. I've never really utilized healers as much. I've always gone damage or or, or shield regen. So yeah. I'm going to have to really sit down and, and, and learn more about healers. They're also something that's going to get better uh, in the future because right now the healing range makes them kind of difficult to utilize. 
uh, because of like differences in height because it, it makes a sphere around units right. rather than being like a cylinder within the range which would be much better uh, mm -hmm. so we're just going to make the basic range higher and then they're more are, of a you... kind of strategic asset rather than like tactical positioning being quite as important for them mm -hmm. are you able to uh, are you able to uh, Constructing are, are you, you going to add like a uh, like an indication of what ships are being healed in that uh, they, they flash the sound. they flash okay I'm they have like a blue flash uh, Copy. Oh, Copy. Uh, <laughs> oh now that i checked up i can actually at your command check up that as well 1500 that is a lot as well so, vehicle in production. Um, I, I, I'm a, now a lot more cautious of which asteroid I use to uh, to upgrade. Hmm. Um, because oh, I'm assuming it in it's still in this patch as well. If uh, if you if if the asteroid that you're upgrading gets destroyed, you lose progress on that that yeah. That, yeah, because yeah. the upgrade is still coming from the object. Yeah. Yeah. Flank I would have thought so. Reporting in. Mm. Launching attack. Supply ship reporting. Oh. reporting. Oh god. Here we go. Ready for duty. Transfer. Destination I'm confirmed. not prepared for this. Roger that. At all. Attack position. Let me just take that one out. Uh, I'm giving you an opportunity reporting. for your fucking shields. Uh, no, I've got those ones going. Let's get those, like, quads, and I'm gonna have to devote more resources on this one. You and your fucking fighters are coming in there. Okay, time to shine bright like a diamond. Oh, God. We've lost our turbo laser. Pressing the attack. We're on our way. Alright, don't worry about him. Keep on there. Get some more anti-fighter going. And I'm going to send some more support up there. Here, you guys go help. Oh, that's a hero class. Huh, okay. Yeah, he's giving me a very slight command bonus. Cause the uh, the neutral docks have heroes in uh, both mods, so... Ooh, right on the missiles. Yeah. Thank you. I wasn't no. sure I'd get anything out of that. There are two missing icons in uh, the mod right now because this was adapted from the dev build, which had certain other things done, but the there's a fighter class you can get from the neutral dock for the CIS called the Genevex, which is missing an icon, and there's also a hard point on the uh, Munificent Heroes, the a mass driver that doesn't have an icon, but that'll all be fixed with the 1.0 release when it comes out. Gonna, I've got a tactic. It's most likely not going to work, but I want to... Yeah, those one I always felt thought diamond cruisers were really effective anti fighters. Like, uh, I'm like swimming in cash on this map right now. Yep, I would have thought so. So am I, to be honest. I'm just not utilizing it. Uh, which, is, which is silly of me. Well, I just keep wanting to buy ships instead, and then. The ships I have aren't yeah. going to cost the amount of money that I have. <laughs> Let's see. Go, my pretties. Wow, man. All those anti-fighters really just... Oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm just watching all the health melt. Oof. You are a lot more likely now to get to a point where you have some bigger ships going, where there's actually going to be a back and forth instead of just being like the, uh, like the TR had the Star Home flex. <laughs> now you can do the uh, auxiliary Luger Hulk flex, but 
if you really want to. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, uh... Well, you don't have the neutral, the merchant dock, so you can't. I mean, for our, for our viewers at home. Weapons ready. Well, you've got me there, Corey. Unit in production. I, uh... Everything, there is a lot of changes here, so I am definitely... Which is good changes. I, I like that the, the, the pacing is slowed down a little bit to to make way for recoveries on mistakes uh, and so on and so forth without without handicapping players that uh, are likely to execute all of their early and mm -hmm. mid-game tasks. Yeah, it, it's changing a bit of the, the skills that are valued rather than just like how quickly can you get to the to the mind it's how how well can you establish control of them is kind of what it shifted yeah. towards and in our opinion that's a bit more fun of a skill to kind of test than just how efficiently did you get that one fighter to the other mind and then that kind of determines the game and then maybe someone spams a few squads that go and kill a mine and then the game just slows down and no one has any money or any fun for a while so at least there's there's more going on there. I I have Fire. literally had a game once where uh, where I uh, I missed out like I was delayed on capturing my bottom asteroid in Travis Madness, and then uh, and then I placed down my Nebulon B in the middle, not realize, and then suddenly having vision on a ship that was very close, and I was uh, not able to get any of. Uh, uh, value out of that Nebulon B, and then I just essentially lost the entire game mm -hmm. from those two moves. So uh, it's nice to um, to know that they, in this update that won't be the case. Yeah. So can you just not attack my stuff back there? That'd be pretty epic. We've got a huge fleet there. A lot of uh, you, I'm assuming it's your play style. It's a lot of like mid tier, huge fleets. Well, but this like, is just because of it, how the income on the map works, where you get yeah. a lot of money, and I didn't, like, because of how much money I knew you'd have, I didn't want to upgrade my tech. So I'm only getting tech 3 right now. Uh, well, I've just, uh... Oh, I've lost all my asteroids, but I've noticed that you, I'm, I'm still earning quite a bit of um, cash now. There is a decent income stream from your, uh, yeah. from your station, like, enough to kind of get by. But I, I remember on a map that's this that. uh, this fucking resource packed, <laughs> it's gonna fucking snowball pretty heavily. It's, uh, I remember you wanting to add that at some point, so it's really nice to see it coming in. It's a really good change. Yeah, enough to get like a ship or two on the map to challenge for an asteroid yeah. reasonably well, to make sure you have like, if you play it right, some kind of pathway back into the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least, uh, at least in like a, a sense of like, if it, you're at the part of the map where uh, part of the game where the enemy doesn't have full map control over every single asteroid, there could be an opportunity for a yeah. fight at, at their weakest defended place. Yeah. Okay. Like then maybe kind of edge your way back in because like you got you're getting a decent assault off on the middle right now. Like I, I'm pretty much, I pretty much won already. But in, in a map that wasn't so, like, heavily asteroided, then mm -hmm. that could turn into something. Part of it is that there's, like, the four asteroids per cluster here. So you're almost always guaranteed to have, like, seven trillion dollars coming in. Because there's, yeah. in one corner, there's more income than fucking some maps have in their entire system. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm probably what I'll do for the video is that at the beginning I'll probably do a full breakdown of all the changes and then move straight into our discussion point of, of, of the reasonings right. why and then properly label them just so I can accurately get every single bit of change out to the viewer. Yeah. Uh, rather than having to skim through a full 40 minute yeah. uh, talking. Session. The missile launchers are the primary yeah. target. No one wants to hear us talk. Disable those <laughs> well, I mean, I used to be a, a little bit lazy when Direct it comes to like that. Type of <laughs> I've, I've reviewed all the footage. Here's our CTA call out, and whatever. So, um, uh, 
Fire. So on so forth. Bam. Done. But here I want to actually give it a proper good breakdown of all the changes. Because that's what I've always wanted to do. Like, I've always wanted to do, like, a patch note yeah. video Complete. for... for um, I think I'm gonna have an. I'm not gonna have enough time yeah. to do the Travis Madness map there. Yeah. But uh, Corey, thank you so much uh, for coming on and and. Um, yeah, I, I love being invited to... onto X2. Uh, I wish you guys would do it more, but I know you guys don't like me. So, <laughs> uh, but thank you for watching everyone on X2 and Corey Lose. If you want to see Charlie's perspective of of all this from and you're watching on mine right now, you can head over to X2 where Charlie Eck and myself. Have a bunch of gaming shenanigans and usually get drunk and play Birio Kart. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have fun and, with playing uh, with fans. Same for Corey. Thank you very much and uh, have fun. Um, uh, let's let's each say do. something mean about Ak before we leave. Okay. Um, I, I, I want, the one thing that really annoys me is that little uh, sneer he does uh, at the end of his sentences when he's talking directly to you about you. Um, yeah. So. I mean, like, I have nothing bad to say about Ak. Like, I can't believe, like, he's he's one of our best friends, Charles. I can't fucking believe you just <laughs> called him out in the video like that. <laughs> oh, god damn it! All right, well, <laughs> uh, thank you very much for uh, thank you very much for for joining, and uh, do this again very very soon when uh, three and one comes out. Bye, everyone. Bye.